There is a ton to get through for this week. Buckle up. Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 18th, 2021. First and foremost, a very special happy birthday to my sister, Kim. Her birthday's on the 21st, okay? <laughs> so happy birthday to everybody here in January, but specifically to anybody who has a birthday coming up this week. So I encourage you to make it special for yourselves. However you want to do that at home, you know, maybe wherever you are in the world, you're still having to be at home, make the most of it, all right? Now, this is getting up late because, where do I even begin? First of all, I thought if I slept on it, I could <laughs> be more articulate and try to kind of just piece everything together. Then I woke up this morning, I'm like, nah, I'm in the same space I was yesterday. I don't even know. So we're just going to do this. <laughs> Bear with me, I will try to remember to put timestamps for various topics. So, I'm feeling the need to share this with you. I had Mother Mary come to me, and I had this huge opening and awakening, if we want to use the word awakening, I know that gets overused, but, <laughs> but I had this huge awakening, and there was this love and comfort, and yet, you know, there was this whole message of remembering uh, the, the divine feminine, and I, for me personally, I started getting sort of information put in front of me about high priestesses and, um, you know, reclaiming the divine feminine and being balanced in that, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I could go on forever about that, but so that happened. And so sometimes I have to go with the flow of the spiritual work that's happening for me over a schedule, right? So that was the first thing that was happening. I had to kind of process that. The other thing that was coming up, I'm tuning in for a message in this coming week. Now, um, even if you don't live in the United States, I think you know what's coming up this week and we're all kind of watching and waiting. And we do have a message about that and we can do a meditation here together as well. But I, first and foremost, <laughs> first and foremost, started to get uh, messages about, I wore this sweater very purposefully and now my, I don't think you can see. Hold on, I'm gonna bump my microphone, hold on. And there's an even bigger version of that on my back. It's a cute sweater, but <laughs> I felt the need to wear it today <laughs> for code because you guys know that certain platforms are owned by certain companies and this world is run by money and you know, all that stuff and I could be censored. So I do have to kind of um, be careful here. But I had this sudden realization that back in 2012, there was a reason, one of the small reasons that probably certain things that are starting with a D didn't happen was because, and even now they're saying, I, telling me you had firsthand knowledge of this. Because people who, let's say, are authentic were starting to talk about things I'm sorry, I have to talk like this, guys. I think you can follow me, right? Okay, hopefully. Talking about certain things, and then suddenly everybody being so, I want to use the word wounded, being so ego wounded, wanted to take on a new label. They wanted to take on a new identity. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know I've spoken about this and try to, in a way, put a warning out there, like, hey, be careful, don't go down that road. And for anybody authentic out there, I wasn't trying to step on your toes or anything, but, you know, it was a real problem. And I'm getting this feeling that back then there could have been something that would have been revealed, except, again, there's all these soft tests that keep happening. You know about these. And it's to see what we're going to do with it. And I'm hearing, actually, we have Archangel Gabriel here. So this, this message of, there was the discovery that humans needed more healing so that we didn't misuse the information. So it's not just about people freaking out and going, oh my God, you know, <laughs> doing that thing. Um, there was this other part where people were embracing it, embracing something that wasn't theirs. Does that make sense? Um, you might say, well, why is that a bad thing to embrace something that's not yours? I'm saying taking it on as yours when it's not yours, okay? So there was that message coming out. There's also, now remember, I read energy. It's just the way I do readings if that's not comfortable for it. Because sometimes people like, they love those psychics 
who really put themselves on the line, right? I think there's an excitement about that. And maybe you think I'm a wimp for just reading energy and then waiting to see how it plays out. But even coming into this career, I know that energy can change. And even giving details about one potential trajectory puts energy around that outcome. And so wimpy or not, I don't know, but you know, I like to just read the energy, put it out there, maybe talk about potentials, like how this might work out. Um, but then let it, let it be what it's going to be because we have so many free wills at play right now and people can make their choices. Yes, there's a potential for peace, but we would really have to put the energy behind that. Um, there could be, I'm hearing blurting. There could be someone who's just, um, God, how do I say this? Uh, so kind of being dragged away and while being dragged away going, you know what? This is not, this is not the outcome. That's not the way. Yeah, they're saying that's not the way we want this to go. But someone might do that. Okay. So hopefully they change their mind. Because one of the other things that was coming up, I remember getting reading requests from people and star seats, you know, we're talking star seats here. And I would have these people come to me and some of them I could speak freely with them because I knew, I knew like, okay, <laughs> this is what's going on. And in other cases, I would have people coming um, and, and they would be so hungry for an identity that, and even though they're really swirled up in their ego consciousness, they just grabbed a title and said, this is me, right? So there were a lot of odd <laughs> readings that I had to do, but one of the most heartbreaking ones, and I want to put this out there. I am, I realized that I come off in a very mocking way in the past, and I want to apologize for that. Um, I, there's no excuse. I mean, there's no excuse. I know why I did it, um, trying to be funny maybe having a couple of people come at me and, you know, and I should have worked on that before I got on camera. Hello. <laughs> and maybe even edited that out before I put it up on the internet. Um, but I had someone come to me and you want to talk about a true star seed. So much so that he was still sticking out a little bit. <laughs> if I can put it that way, he was sticking out a little bit and he came to, for a personal reading and as I'm picking up on this, I was actually, um, hmm, how do I want to say this? I, not, there was a part of me that was a little freaked out because I, you know, because we have these, um, these origin stories, but we're encased in a human body and what you're going to do, right? I mean, it's, it's, you know, you're like, we're all like the same, right? Uh, kind of, <laughs> kind of thing. But this guy definitely had retained a lot of his memory and a lot of his energy and, as I was tuning into this, I was like, oh, this is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then the messages, this is the heartbreaking part. This guy was just being authentic, but he was in danger. And the message I had to deliver was to be more human and to look at human psychology, not because his psychology was broken, but they, he had to understand how to blend in a little bit more. I know this is crazy for some people out there, but it won't seem crazy in the coming years, okay? And that was just one particular moment that popped up. And I, I hope he's doing all right. And I hope that he knows I have nothing but love for him. And that was... It was a hard reading to give somebody because here I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. Like, this is what we all want. We just want the truth and we just want, <laughs> we want, we want things to be revealed. And yet it wasn't time. And apparently he didn't get the memo, right? I don't know. I don't have the whole in and out. There are people who have more information on this than I do, but that was just my experience with it. So that needed to be talked about. That needed to be brought out here. Okay, because there could be someone out there who just blurts it out. Um, how to handle this? Well, most of you watching this, you're like filing your nails, sipping your tea, <laughs> going, it's about time. <laughs> right? But, you know, some people in our lives are not going to handle it well. And um, I'm not saying it's going to happen this week. 
remember energy can change people can change their minds um and i don't know i'm getting the feeling here that it might not be the best it's not the time okay <laughs> it's not the time right now not this week um so maybe someone who needed to hear that will hear that okay but in the whole i don't know we'll have to see we'll keep checking in each week and seeing what what the energy is around all of that but um you know keeping your energy in a good place the other thing that this le then leads into is how much um again i gotta be careful with how i say things not only just for you know uh, you know the platform reasons but for energetic reasons too i don't want to pull that in but there's a certain energy that is now grasping it's falling down and so it's grasping and it's really getting into people it's not a very popular thing to say, hey, don't hate your enemy or who you perceive to be your enemy. Don't forget that we're all one. Nobody likes that, right? Because there are people out there who have completely denied their soul light and they're running on fumes of fear and darkness and whatever, okay, they're doing that. And so we don't want to be associated with that, right? We don't want to, we don't want to go down that road. But how many times, and this is a time of self-examination, how many times have we gone into something that we get so angry about and we feel like it's such an injustice that we start wishing ill will on our enemy or who we are perceiving as our enemy? Or if someone doesn't have your same belief system, they are your enemy. Or if somebody doesn't agree with your politics or your opinions, they are your enemy. Well, 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 haven't we fallen into it? We're a bunch of suckers. And that's what I need to lay down here, all right? You may not be agreeing with how people are behaving, and we'll talk more about that. You may not be on board with people's approach, I'm never on board with violence. You lose my support the moment you start going down that road. And don't tell me it's the only way. <laughs> I feel the need to be saucy right now, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold back. <laughs> I'm really gonna hold back. Um, you know, our siblings out there, we may not be able to make sense of what they're doing because we're still also separated and so we can't really have that flow of understanding where they're coming from. Um, but putting judgment on it, again, this is going to be hard. Us and our human brains is going to be so difficult. Us putting judgment on that is feeding it. I know, it's feeding it. Us getting upset is feeding it. Now, as I say that, I'm not encouraging you to not care. I'm not encouraging you to bury your head in the sand. You know, I've never been big on that. I don't like this whole thing of, just my opinion, take it for what it's worth of, you know, I don't watch the news. I get that. And I said that in the daily for January 16th. But, and you, you got to be careful, obviously, <laughs> like how, what the news that's being presented to you, you know, you got to use your discernment. You got to use some critical thinking here and you got to use your intuition. But still, you'll be able to pick up enough to observe, you know, play witness, but don't get invested. I say it all the time, right? But you'll be able to pick up enough to see how things are coming apart, where they might be leading, okay? Um, so there's, you just need to get a little like, what's, what's happening here? How are people reacting? And then you can turn the news off, okay? But again, you understand, are you following how I'm saying this here? So... I'm not saying take in the garbage. I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying get addicted to the news. Ew, no, don't do that. Don't do that to yourselves. But, you know, we have to be somewhat aware of what our fellow human beings are going through. Okay. Does that mean have empathy for evil acts? No, don't, no, don't be twisting my narrative here. No, that, no, no, that's not what we're saying. But what we're saying here is that the energy we put around something is going to amplify whatever's going on. You know that. I don't, you don't need me to tell you that. We all know that, right? So again, we'll get more into that. So I don't know if, well, most of you out there are pretty sensitive. So I don't know if you've been feeling um, heightened aggravation, um, you know, I know I've been 
I actually found that there were tons of obstacles to me making this video. It was interesting. And I'm finding too, that remember I said that certain energy that's clinging on and trying to grasp onto whatever they can um, is now working even more, <laughs> even more than previously thought through people in minor ways. And then we have this social uh, rule where we're supposed to not sweat the small stuff. Well, that has been uh, stolen and used, <laughs> right? To diminish any time we start to see something, you know, oh, you're so negative or oh, you're so, right? So there's this, and again, it's the pandemic of narcissism, like right? that's a part of it. I'm not gonna stop talking about that until it's done. All right, and it'll be done. It'll be done, don't worry. <laughs> Might take years, but it's gonna be done because we're gonna get smarter. We're gonna raise in our consciousness, those of us who choose to do so. And then it's like, you know, you're, you're gonna see it for what it is, I guess. So be careful of the energy that we put into things this week. Um, should you be prepared? Why the heck not? Um, here in Colorado, shoot, at any moment from now until April, we could get a blizzard. <laughs> okay. So, um, I've gotten into the habit. I'm from, uh, Northwest Ohio, not far from the lake. And so we were always prepared for storms and things like that. So I just kind of always keep my pantry stocked. I have, you know, containers of water. I'm making sure all my devices are charged, you know, I'm making sure I'm communicating with my loved ones. You know, don't do this out of fear. Are you kidding me? No, that's not what we're doing. You knew that, right? You, you know that. You know about not doing that, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, it's just um, settle in. Settle in. Have what you need just in case. Just in case free wills go crazy, which is a potential here. Okay. So the more we start meditating and focusing on peace, we are going to see more of the contrast. So be ready for that. Okay. Be ready for that because as I said, that's the other side panicking and trying to, you know, get into people and get them upset. This is why when I do see something um, on social media where people are, they're picking a side. Have you noticed I've not picked a side? And what will be the human reaction to that? Oh, if you're not with us, you're against us. Honey, I'm in a different place, okay? That does not make me above anybody else whatsoever, but I refuse to play into a game that I know is there to twist my mind and make me upset and make me fearful and make me angry and then make me wanna fight. And then what happens? We destroy each other. We destroy each other. And guess what? People are gonna profit off of that. Think about it. So no, am I gonna participate in the hate? I'm gonna try my darndest, like we're all human. <sighs> am I gonna pray a lot? Yeah, you know, I hope we're all meditating and praying and bringing that peace forward as much as we can. And if you are somebody who's watching this and you're like, Michelle, I can't help but go, you know, first of all, don't, don't, okay, listen, listen, let's, let's back up. Don't beat yourself up, okay? <laughs> you're not a bad person, it, it's all good. But I wanna offer this. A message. The politicians out there are not on your side. <gasps> What'd you just say? But I've got the bumper sticker and everything. I've got the hat. I've got the flag. I've got the whatever. Okay. Politics are never on your side. People before politics. And not every person. <laughs> I know people who consider themselves, uh, well, especially here in Colorado Springs, there are a lot of conservative people. It's not all conservative. It's definitely not what people think it is, but um, they're lovely people. And you know what? They're not going to be out doing any acts of violence because they got good hearts. <laughs> they have a good heart and they're not, but you know, they have their way of viewing the world. And then I know plenty of liberal people who are also good-hearted people, and they're not gonna be out causing violence or anything like that. They're, they, you see what I'm saying here? It's, even if you give in to the divide, 
that doesn't necessarily mean that one side is better than the other. You got these people over here that are like, who knows what they're doing? They're just a mess. They're a mess here in the middle doing things, okay? All under the guise of some polarized side. They don't represent everybody, okay? Listen, like I said, <laughs> could this week be a hot freaking mess? Yup. Should you be prepared? Yup. Should you be meditating? Mm -hmm. Meditating on what? Let's talk about this because I'm being encouraged to say this. How many of you have meditated and put your energy behind someone winning? Who did that? How many of you have meditated? Okay, I'm going to bring peace into the world and this is how I think peace should look like. This is what it should look like. And therefore, that's what I'm going to visualize. So my vision of peace comes into fruition. That right there is the very frequency that uh, lowers the effectiveness of peace, of the peace we're trying to bring forward. Well, what should we be doing? Leaving it, bringing God in? You all remember God? I don't like the word God. Okay, 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 great, okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> got to bring God back in, all right? And, or, you know, whatever you call it. I'm, again, we have to tiptoe around everybody because everybody's trying to find some, something to be angry about, and I'm done, okay? I'm not playing into those games anymore. God, source, creator, you good? We good? We cool? Okay. So <laughs> we need to be meditating, opening our hearts and asking for peace and protection and always protect the children. Why? They are the bringers of innocence and they are the first ones to be fed upon. Whether it's a parent who feels they need to dominate someone. And so they do that over their children. We just we could we could think of examples and animals too. Actually, I was in a line, a drive-through, and uh, picking something up, and the woman behind me was raising a hand to her dog in the seat, and she just had this angry look on her face, and she was just slapping her dog. And I like turn around. I look. All I did was give her a look, and she just kind of sat there. And I had to sit there and stare at her a minute. I'm like, "Do I need to get out of my car right now?" I know it's hard, isn't it? It's hard because we are trying to be peaceful, and yet some people just haven't picked up on that. Where do people become so broken? We have to ask ourselves that. Where do I get angry? Where do I get fearful? So that's why I say protect the children. And when I say protect the children, that includes the inner child as well. Because what we see is not the whole truth. What we see is not the whole truth. Do not go into the narratives. Oh, it's this group doing it. It's this group. Stop. Stop. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. There are some people who have been influenced their entire lives. Oh, you're making excuses for them. Stop. Because as long as we don't listen to this, the trouble continues. And I'm tired. Okay, I ain't dealing with y'all anymore, okay? <laughs> you want to keep on the dumb road? You just stop, okay? But what I'm getting at here, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I try to inject humor into things. I don't know if it's effective. I don't know. But what I, the message that I'm getting here that I want to lay down for you, and remember, this is not the end all be all just because I say it. It's just the portion that I can uh, contribute. Okay, for your consideration. But the feeling I get is that there are some people out there who are really acting out. But if we looked at what's going on with their inner child, the inner child was trained to be that, to forego their innocence, to be tough. That's the other thing. Don't let me, if you're around my neighborhood, don't let me catch you telling your, especially a male child, to be tough or 
not allowing your child to have emotions. I don't know. That's the mama bear in me, whatever. Um, but, you know, if we were to look at what's happening within them, if we had that ability, and we do, by the way, we just haven't activated that. But if we looked at really each person, how they seem on the surface, we might quickly categorize them. But if you were to look inside, not all of them. Here, okay, so maybe you, here's a classification of good guys. Here's a classification of bad guys. But you open them all up and you're like, oh, there's pure darkness on both sides. And there are people who were consumed, let's say. Now you might argue, hey, they made the choice to get consumed. Did they? Maybe. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that happens. But um, I'm talking about the ones that were raised around hate. And guess what? If you're looking across the way and you're like, you're hate hateful, so I hate you. Where'd your hate come from? Well, cause, cause of them, cause of them. Yeah, but if you loved yourself, their hate would have no effect on you. If you loved and respected yourself and other human beings, you would actually probably feel bad for that person for being so angry and hateful and wonder what happened. What made them like this? It gets complicated. I know. This is going to twist our brains a little bit. And the ego is going to want to fight. The ego is going to want to debate. I'm not interested in silencing people. But I'm also not interested in people staying on the surface level and trying to have these little battles. That will shut down. Because that's not good energy. I'm, we're not doing that, guys. We're supposed to be evolving beyond. Okay? What could happen this week? Careful who you think your friends are. <laughs> okay? And I mean out there who you think your friends are. Be careful of getting lulled into what sounds really good, but would have very detrimental effects. Be careful about jumping to conclusions. Be careful of feeling the guilt. Or if you do have some shadow aspects, you know, this is a great time to work on that. You know, that, that, we all go through that. All right? Just be careful. Don't get pulled into the narrative, guys. So when I say be aware, but you don't understand, it's all about balancing here. Like, okay, I see what's happening. I'm, I'm observing. But I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not going to, um, i got to be careful here. Um, and of course, praying, meditating, as I said. Be careful what you're praying about. Be careful what you're meditating about. Are you trying to put your vision of what the world should be out into the collective? Or are you coming from just like great default? Great default is love. But I'm so mad. I'm so mad. There's so many things. Michelle, you can't take a joking, you know, mocking tone with this. I don't mean to be mocking whatsoever. I'm just not very good at the humor part. I try so hard, but, yeah, you know, sometimes it just doesn't land. Um, <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't work. So what I'm getting at here is that just come from an open-hearted place. Shield and protect your energy. Um, you know, there there will be energies that are trying to get into you they're trying to aggravate you call on your angels angels and archangels of god's purest love and light i'm not sure if i shared this story with you guys but i think i've shared it elsewhere but um maybe i did share it here i don't remember but i remember i was getting uh these readings from this indigo star seed young woman and the first reading i got from her was really really good and um she mentioned, she said that uh, people who are into angels really annoy her because they're always like, angels of God's purest. Did I say this already? I might have. I don't remember, but I, I feel like I need to repeat it if, if that's the case. That she's really annoyed by people who say angels of God's purest love and light. I mean, if you're working with angels, like we know that those are good. Now she's young. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why I'm like saying like when people were doing that indigo worshiping, uh, this was some, this was a young woman whose mother did the indigo worship, okay? And so she didn't have a broad way of thinking. She, you know, I don't know. And, and her ego was getting the best of her. <laughs> like her ego was being fed and therefore it 
grew fat, okay? So, um, you know, we're sitting there talking and I was like, well, you do need to be careful of what beings you're allowing in and what you're calling angels. And so remember, your words are powerful. And if you, you know, if you uh, work with Jesus, you can say in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Um, you know, you can invoke Mother Mary, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever you, however you approach this. Uh, but we got to, we got to start cleaning this up a little bit, right? <laughs> and this young woman that always stuck with me. And I thought, I wonder how many beings she's bringing in. And at the time I wasn't as well practiced, you know what I mean? Like now I meditate every day. Back then I was like, yeah, let me try this meditation thing. I do it every once in a while <laughs> with my yoga, you know, all of that. And so something just didn't sit right with me. And I, again, I was starting to wonder like, what beans are you channeling kind of thing? So um, not to say that she's bad. It was just a question I had in my mind. So we want to be careful with the beans that we're invoking. Okay. So did I cover everything? The thing that's on my sweater, <laughs> um, you know, being careful of our reaction and where we allow ourselves to go. And even this video right here, this might aggravate people. Um, one of the things I'm letting go of is I don't give two hoots about subscriber count, okay? And I, if it matters to anybody else out there, can we all unplug from that game? Especially for spiritual practitioners because, I mean, it's cool if a lot of people want to see your work and all that. That's nice. It makes you feel appreciated and it certainly helps you pay the bills. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but, man, when, when we're just concentrating on how many subscribers we have, then you're, I, I don't know, I just think it affects the content. I really do because now we're tiptoeing and we do still have to tiptoe or we'll get kicked off. But um, I don't know. I think we're in this transformative time. Of course we are. And, you know, we have to look at every aspect of what we're doing too. <laughs> okay. So there's all of that huge long thing. Let's go into a meditation together. Um, you breathe in whatever pattern you like to, whatever, however you have studied meditation. If you have not studied meditation, I think I said this last week, it's no longer good enough to say, I don't know how. Whatever you don't know how to do, you can always learn. So why haven't you? Why haven't you? Learn it, okay? You're gonna thank me, okay? <laughs> All right. So let's, again, let's just do whatever breathing is right for you. This is more about all of us just kind of connecting. So I, this time I think I will do very little guiding so we can all just sit in this energy together. We'll do a little here in the beginning and set an intention as you're breathing, breathing out all your stress, all your expectations, yes. All of your expectations, whatever you think needs to happen, let that go. Oh, P.S. Before we get into this, hi, sorry, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I have been saying for the longest time, like something is going to come out of nowhere and we're just going to be like, Ugh. like, so whatever you think is going to happen, you think there's only two choices? No, not so much. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but I have that feeling like something is going to come in and just kind of, okay. So anyway, now we're going back into the meditation. Okay. So here we go. Make, make the intention to let go of your stress, your expectations and to protect the children and surround them in God's purest love and light. And let Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Metatron watch over each and every one of them. And along with Archangel Raphael, heal every child that needs it and to heal all of our inner children. And Archangel Shamuel as well, and Archangel Raguel, Archangel Sandalphon, and any other angel or archangel that you want to bring in for yourself in the name of God, God's purest love and light. <sighs> to open our hearts and bring love and peace. Without interfering with anyone's free will choices. I'm not trying to manipulate what we think it should look like. And releasing all narratives.
time. And when you're ready, come back in. You can do a longer meditation later on if you'd like. And please remember to do this several times a day if you can, or at least once a day. Let's get onto the cards. All right, so we're gonna do some quick cards here. And I think in the interest of time and getting this edited and put up, I'm gonna skip the overlay, the B-roll of the card. Usually you guys know what it looks like. You can see for the most part. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. We can look at what guidance is coming through for you. Please be mindful that I only share permissions to access the reading with the email that you provide me, okay? And every time you request access, I get an email. So, you know, I, it's not such a problem to share access to another email, but that's really gonna delay you listening to it and I may not get to it at all, <laughs> okay? So whatever email you provide, that's how you're gonna access the reading, okay? I always provide access. I would not send you a reading and not give you access. So if you're having trouble, double check the email that you provided, okay? That way, you know, I don't want people, ooh, hi. I don't want people, you know, <laughs> getting frustrated or, you know, feeling like, you know, they can't get to their reading. I know what that feels like. Like, I wanna, I wanna listen to it, so I get it. And also, I have courses over at Gumroad, guys. Do you guys know that I also put up a, a whole Archangel series on my channel? I don't know that a lot of you know that because there's no rhyme or reason to the algorithm. <laughs> like some of my videos have 800,000 views and I don't know why. Uh, and then others that I would think people would be pretty interested in, like the Archangel series, they've got like 600 views. So go check it out. There's a whole playlist. There we go. All right, so here are the two cards that popped right out. Together we have bring love into the situation. <laughs> oh my gosh, new moon in Aquarius. There's that Aquarius, oh yes. And step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Do you know what this feels like? Can I hold them up like this? I don't know. <laughs> um, bring love into the situation, step out of your comfort zone. This is saying let go of what you think you know is the truth. And that's really a big time that's cracking open right now. We're gonna be getting more and more truth as time goes on. So step out of what you think you know. And that might mean, um, mm, they're saying that people are so afraid of being criticized for staying true to themselves. So, you know, anytime anybody says, this is what we as a collective stand for, and if you don't agree with us, then we're against you too, you're our enemy. They were never a part of what you believed in in the first place. Does that make sense? So bring love into the situation. You don't have to follow the crowd. You can do things that are comfortable for you, okay? So I know, cause I get that kind of stuff thrown at me all the time too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe, is that really how you feel? Oh my gosh, because they're just following, um, how do I wanna say this? They're just, <laughs> they're just going along with what the pamphlet said. When you signed up for a certain belief system, this is what you agree to and that's it. And there's no critical thinking. It's all, the thinking has been pre-established for you and there could be great punishment for not falling in, right? All right, next card out. A time for healing, balsamic moon. Let that be a goal for this week to heal yourself. Again, we're talking about, you know, when the shadow self starts to come up, you know, what, <laughs> what, what is there? What makes you angry? What makes you triggered? But you can't look at the other person and say, it's purely them. Because there could be a jerk a minute out there, okay? I literally was just at the store the other day, and there was this, this pair of women, um, it was mostly the one woman, came up and barreled me out of the way so she could stand right where I was and look at what I was looking at. And previously, that would have really, I mean, it was irritating, but I was like, you're bizarre. <laughs> that was bizarre. Like, what, what in the world? And I kind of moved out of the way at first, and then I came on back, and I was like, she doesn't have to bother me. I'm going to look at what I want to look at. And yeah, she was standing like too close to me for the things that are going on. Okay. But I was standing there first and, um, you know, I just kind of finished what I was doing <laughs> walked away. and I was like, girl, bye. Okay. <laughs> like whatever. So it's a time for healing and start noticing 
if you do have a very different reaction, okay? Whether that is, pff, that's weird, or you know, you kind of have your human reaction to it, and then you kind of move on and you don't get emotionally attached to it, or are you getting more infuriated? Which direction are you going in? Again, don't beat yourself up if you're feeling anger. It's okay. You know, a lot of times um, when these things are happening, all the stuff, all the sickness is coming up to the surface. And not to be gruesome or graphic, but I mean, it's like Mother Gaia is sort of vomiting out all that needs to go. All right. And all that needs to go doesn't have to mean people, but the energy that they contain. So there is a healing to be had here. Let's hope for the best, right? All right. A new start is coming. New moon. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. So again, whatever we're seeing, I hate to say these things have to happen, but you know, if we're not listening to all the stuff that has been dropped down for us for many, many years, if we're not listening, if we're hanging on to, here's something I get to be mad about. Here's something I get to be mad about. Well, look at this. Look at that person. Look at what they said. I get to be mad about this. And then you post it and you get other people with your same energy who come and agree with you. And boy, don't you feel good about that. Or you can look at it and be in the awareness that there's some healing to be done there in someone else and in you. And that's our new start. Now, this can mean a new start in a lot of other areas as well. I think it does mean a new start in a lot of areas. <sighs> Financial systems, what we buy into, what we're allowing to be taken from us, this sort of thing. Okay. Other deck of cards. Let's see here. Ooh. Very jumpy. Try not to be jumpy this week, okay? <laughs> you better believe I'm going to be, you know, calling my sister, making sure she's having a good birthday. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to be out on my balcony. <laughs> okay, so first of all, there's some words on this, but I'm not going to show you those yet. Look at that pretty, pretty, pretty image. I was just saying I'm going to be out on my balcony. I'm going to be outside and all this stuff. Okay, as you protect yourself, the number is 36. So there's this, it reduces to nine. This is learning our lessons. This is letting things be concluded. Okay, letting an old way fall away. And when this says protect yourself, protect your energy. And protecting your energy does not look like self-righteousness. Sorry, it doesn't. Okay, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it doesn't look like self-righteousness. I'm too good for that. You know, I rise above. I, you know, like that's not even real. And we, we're getting into getting really good at discerning what's real and what's not real, okay? So protect yourself from lower energies. Don't get pulled into the anger, into the frustrations. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, God bless you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and getting the word out there. And we're just going to leave you alone now so you can get back to your lives. I love you all so much and take care. <laughs>